his whole audience was so diverse and still is. You know, he had white kids and black kids, Hispanic kids, Asian, you know, kids. And not just the kids, but their parents and their parents' parents were all listening to it. Everybody was excited about this one artist. Thank you, made my day. Oh. One of the best shows I've ever seen, and we really enjoyed it. Thank we love your show. We brought some great memories. You're amazing. That show was great. Michael Jackson, he was definitely the star, really talented. It was really fun to watch. His musicianship, his athleticism, his dancing ability was all awesome. Just A number one. Made my trip complete. Thank you so much. grew up on the road. My parents were also entertainers um, and they made their living traveling from state to state playing uh, these uh, smaller clubs and opening for other uh, name acts at the time. After my parents retired from the business uh, we settled here in Las Vegas and yeah it was a culture shock to me. I didn't listen to pop music at all. You know I liked classical music. It wasn't until one day my mom came home and she brought in this album and she said, son, you gotta listen to this. I said, okay, open it up, pulled out the 12 inch vinyl record, put the needle on the record and man, that was it for me. There was something about the groove, the music, the way the vocal was, the, it was so pure yet it had this aggressive quality, this um, rebelliousness about it but in a good way, you know, that really just spoke to me. Everything was new, you know, for those of you out there that remember. You, know, you couldn't just, you know, go on YouTube and pull up whatever you wanted to hear at a whim. You had to wait till it either came on the radio or if it came on MTV. You had this anticipation and, and this excitement about everything. That's really my goal in, in my show now is just to remind people of that feeling, that excitement. And if they can come away with a little bit of that feeling, um, then I'll be happy. Yeah.